What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another goddamn video. Today, I'm gonna be washing my truck. As y'all know, I took it to New Mexico and it got really dirty, really dusty. And it's, well, you know what I hate about traveling when, when you're driving is that uh, you get all them little bugs and little insects and get stuck to the front of the grill and the hood, the glass, man, I hate it, man. And it's really hard to take it off. Like you scrub it so hard and it's still, you can see like the little, little manchitas, the little, you know where they were at. Like with soap, I've scrubbed it with soap and everything and it's hard to take it off. I guess you need some type of a uh, chemical or something. Why are you crying, baby? Huh? Why are you crying? Here's my daughter right now. She's playing a little video game, a little frozen video game. Huh? That's all? No, you can put um um Barbie. Oh, ahorita. Play this one more time. Well, yeah, guys, we're going to go wash my truck right now. My brother's going to help me wash it out because he got a little uh, uh, water pressure gun. And then he's going to try to do it with that. Hopefully, it takes it off. And, uh, yeah, guys, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And I'll see y'all in a bit. Oops. All right, guys. I'm on my way to my brother's house. It's pretty, it's pretty hot out here. It's too damn hot. Look at this shit. 106. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it says 106 right there. It's too damn hot today. You barely step outside right away. You just soaking wet. Hopefully, I don't know if y'all can see it on my uh, windshield. It has like little like bug splatters everywhere. Hopefully, we can take that off. Also on the hood, the grill, everything that has to do with the front has full of uh, bug splatter. Hopefully it comes off with that uh, pressure gun, that water pressure gun. Yeah, but right now I'm on my way to the house. I'm like, on my to uh, my brother's house. I'm like, what, uh, three minutes away? So see you in a bit. While my brother's taking off them little bugs, he's gonna try to take all them little, uh, the, the splatters from the little bugs, from the insects. And then after that, we're gonna try, uh, then I got some sweat in my eyes, it's burning. We're gonna try scrubbing it down with some soap. Try cleaning it real good, get all that, uh, dust off, them bugs. And I wanna show y'all real quick, my dad's truck, he got a new truck, uh, Escalate. And I just wanted to show y'all real quick. It's a pretty nice truck, but uh, right now it needs, uh, he hasn't got insurance for it. But he got it like, what, I think a month ago? But he hasn't even drove it, he hasn't driven it since he, he's got it. Oh, uh, right now he has a lot, but it's pretty much the same thing as mine from the inside. It look, everything looks straight up the same from the inside, except this one's, I guess, more luxurious. More, more luxury looking. It has leather on the on the dash and but it's pretty much the same it's except it's different uh different uh you know it's an escalade it has that cadillac logo whatever is it Cadillac? yeah i think it's Cadillac. well yeah this is my dad's truck i just wanted to show y'all real quick we bought it with the rims brand new rims i believe these are 22s and uh I don't know what he's thinking about doing. He says he's gonna try to fixing it from the inside because it's pretty dirty from the inside. He needs to clean it and then uh, I think he needs to buy like three seats for the inside because they're kind of ripped. I don't know if he's gonna redo them or he's just gonna purchase some new ones. But I told him he could go to a junkyard and, and purchase them there. They're not that expensive. He could take them off another truck. It's pretty much the same seats as, as my truck except it has a different, little, different logo on it. On the, on the headrest, it has the Cadillac logo. But yeah, he could do that. Either go to a junk or buy him brand new. It's not worth buying a brand new because they're really expensive. He could do that, but he said that he uh, he's probably gonna fix it and then end up selling it. It don't really need much. I mean, it don't have no dents, no uh, scratches from the from the outside. Nothing, nothing's wrong with it from the and it drives really smooth and nice. 
it actually drives the same as mine all he all he needs to do right now is just clean it up clean it from the inside buy the brand new seats put them on he said he's gonna sell it i don't think he's gonna want to keep it but he's in, yeah he's gonna sell it so anybody interested let me know leave a comment down below and uh let me know if y'all want to come see or something well i think first he's gonna fix it and then he's gonna you know try selling it but if you're interested let me know leave a comment down below and uh this is also my this is my brother's car the one washing my truck right now he purchased this car right here it's uh i think a 300 what car is this alexi alexi what is this a 300 right no. chrysler 300 well this is a chrysler 300 but he hasn't been able to drive it also because he needs to get the uh, I guess uh because this is an auction car so he needs to get the title under his name well he don't he don't have the title yet he just has the auction receipt so he needs to get the the title for it and it for him to uh get the insurance and uh you know get the plates and all that he needs to have the i guess the title well what is it uh 5. Point what 5.7 right 5.7 uh v8 he's always trying to race me but he knows he can't he don't want to smoke with my truck my, mine's a 6 oh <laughs> well yeah this is his car it's pretty nice pretty nice condition all he has to do i think the only thing he has is this, this tear up right here on the on the on the seat other than that it's pretty good it's pretty clean from the inside he's not able to drive it but yet he can he keeps it really clean from the inside as y'all can see it's really clean it's, it's not dirty at all Oh no, he's in. Oh shit. Oh, the seat gets to come out? Oh. Let's see, the seat was moving. Sounds really nice, right? It's a big ass motor, right? Or is it just the top of that makes it look bigger like that? There's a motor. Oh, that would be big. But the top of makes it look way better, right? Gives it a better look. But you're not gonna sell this one, right? And if anybody is down to race, my brother right here, he's down to race. Anybody that has a little V6 and their little Chevy Serato, he said he wants that smoke. Oh, well, y'all don't want no smoke with this uh 5.7 V8 right here. Y'all can see it right here. He says it's really fast, but I haven't even been on it, so one of these days.
This car. Nigga, this and the truck. You were talking about Lamborghini 160. Nigga, this car has. Oh, it's a 160. Let me see the engine. Let me see the engine. Oh, it is 160. Yes, fuck it does. But you, my shit pulled, my shit hits 160. Probably the same shit as me. I know I'm saying, nigga, this bitch pulls nasty, nigga. I swear to God. All right, guys, we already finished washing it. As y'all can see, the windshield is really clear and clean. Thanks to my brother that washed it. He detailed it, but we didn't detail the inside because I forgot to um, bring my uh, my chemicals to clean the inside, the armor and all that. So we didn't clean the inside, but it's not it's not even all that dirty, so it doesn't really matter. But right now we're on our way to uh, to some insurance place or probably the DMV to see if we can get his title for his car, All right? Because he really wants to drive it already. Because he he wants to race me with his little V8 4.3. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna go do, guys. Hopefully. We can get his uh, title, so he can get a chair inspection, get his place, and start driving his car. Is that your dream car? No. No? Oh, Hellcat. Oh, Hellcat's a dream car? So they won't bullshit. Nah, nah, y'all didn't, didn't have no time on your meter. So that's why we're gonna tow your truck. Well, guys, there was no parking space to where we were going right now. Uh, we had to get a bonded title because you don't got the original title, so we're gonna have to get a bonded title for the car. And there was no parking space over there. Yeah, just the there was no parking space over there where we have to go. So we ended up parking over here, but it's not the good. The good thing is that. It's not that far, so we're walking all the way over here to this little, to this little store where they, uh, this lady uh, works on uh, on bonded titles, and she also gets insurance for for your vehicle and all that. So, you excited? I'll be driving my car today. Today? No, I don't think so. She said it takes up to to two days. Lexus. Hey, bond title. Huh? Putting that big cash down, 325. How you feeling? Good. Yeah. Now you're gonna be able to smoke me? Yo, yo. Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He finally gonna get his bonded title. Probably uh, it's gonna, the lady says it's gonna take up to two to two to three weeks, right? Two to three weeks. But hey, look, my truck looks clean all right. Look at that. I just, I just need to change the headlights because look, they're foggy. All this Texas heat is killing my baby. Let's go. guys as y'all can see i'm back in the house i hope y'all like this video make sure y'all like share and subscribe hit that notification button and don't forget one more thing thrive in life not just survive deuce